It's another month day here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're going to talk about solving systems of lin nonlinear equations using substitution method. y squared is equal to x plus 3. 2y is equal to x plus 4. We are going to solve this one using substitution method. So when doing the substitution method, all you have to do is to Find which one is easier, like you are to start with the easiest one. So for this one, we have our equation 1, our equation 2. For me, the easiest one to tackle here is solving for x or y, either on 1 or 2. But let me just uh, choose 1. I'll be choosing the second equation. I'll be solving for x. Solve for x using equation uh, 2. So for equation 2 here, we have 2y equal to x plus 4. So when we solve for x, we are to isolate x on one side. So let's say I'm going to move 4 to the other side so that I will be leaving uh, the x here on its own on this side. So I'll be subtracting this by 4 and so with the other side, 2y minus 4 is equal to an x or you can simply swap the places because i know you are too fun with having our variable that we have solved on the left side isolated so we have x equal to 2y minus 4. this will be our third equation now we have our first second and third equation i'm naming that one for an easy access later on uh, for the discussion, you may not do or follow that one if you are solving uh, your own solution. So, you may omit the st steps there. So, let's now continue with the next step. I'm going to solve for the other variable. So, solve for y using uh, 3. I mean... I'm going to choose uh, between 1 and 2 there. But since we have used our 2, equation 2, in solving for the equation 3, we cannot reuse that 1. We will be, be using the other equation. So we are using now equation 1. We are to substitute our equation 3. So we have our equation 1, y squared is equal to x plus 3. We are going to substitute equation 3, wherein our x is equal to 2y minus 4, meaning on the equation here, we will be replacing x with 2y minus 4. So we have y squared equal to, we have an x, replace that with 2y minus 4, and then plus 3. Then we try to simplify that one. We have y squared is equal to 2y minus 4 plus 3. So, combine like terms, y squared is equal to 2y, negative 4 plus 3, that is equal to negative 1. We move everything on the other side, so we have our y squared minus 2y plus 1 equal to a 0. We've subtracted 2y here and added 1 so that we can eliminate, eliminate that 1 on the other side and move everything else to the other side. So we can now go for solving our y. So from y squared minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0, we can choose on either factoring or using the quadratic formula. But since this one can be factored out, we have our positive 1 as the product of the factors. We're looking for factors here by trial and error. So that the factors, once we add it up, the sum will be our number in the middle, which is negative 2. So since this is positive 1, we're expecting that the factors will have the same sign. So we can have positive 1 times positive 1. Once added, we have 1 plus 1. That's equivalent to a 2. It's not a 1 that we're looking for because it's a negative 2. We go on for the other factors. We have negative 1 and negative 1. Multiplying that would lead to a positive 1. Adding this 1 would lead to a negative 2. So this is the one we're looking for. This is the sum in the middle. 
um, this one will be the factors. So we can now apply factors. We can get the square root of y squared. So we have now our y and another y here. Copying the factors, we have negative or minus 1. And then a minus 1, that will be equal to a 0. Equate factors, y minus 1 equal to 0. The other one is y minus 1 equal to a 0. Our y is equal to 1 here. Our y is also equal to 1. So we need to say our y is with multiplicity of a 2 with a value of 1. So next one is to solve for x. So solving for x, we can choose either 1, 2, or 3, but the simplest one is equation 3. So solving for x using uh, equation 3, so we can now have x equal to 2y minus 4. x will be uh, equal to if uh, y is equal to 1. We replace y here with 1, so our x will be equal to 2 times 1 minus 4. x will be equal to 2 minus 4, that's a negative 2. Our x value is negative 2 when y is 1. So negative 2, when x is negative 2, our y is 1. So let's do the checking. The checking for this is simply getting our two equations here and then replacing the point or the solution here on the x and the y value of each equation. So we're starting off with the first equation. y squared equal to x plus 3. y is with 1 squaring that one x is with negative two and then plus three we have y squared is one equal to negative two plus three that's a one so we have now the correct solution for that one on the first equation but take note we have to satisfy also the other equations so two y is equal to x plus four then we replace our y with one equal to our x with negative 2 and then will this be equal to the 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 equal to negative 2 plus 4 that's a positive 2 they are indeed equal so that means to say that this one is the solution of our uh, system of nonlinear equations